Hi, this is Sarah Yates and this is my PowerPoint presentation on Chapter 4, Designing the Lateral Organization. In lateral organizations, uh, we find that the leader is directly involved in processes such as creating goals, staffing to meet those goals, uh, funding of any type of goal-oriented projects. And the leader can create a group within an organization to deal with an issue. And the leader might find that he or she has to change a process that's already being used. Processes can be molded to make them more compatible with whatever goals the organization has. Uh, the resources of that organization must also be taken into account and the plans of that organization. And so sometimes those processes do have to be molded. And leaders uh, might want to create or add a cross-functional team. And leaders also set priorities about investing the talent of the organization and the other resources that are at his or her disposal. In a group or a team design, um, I read that the structure can range from simple to complex. And the strategy should always set the priorities of the group. And the leadership needs to be sure that um, the scope of the group has been defined. And also, in advance of any problems that might occur, leadership should define some sort of conflict resolution. Um, I liked the statement that conflict management should um, incorporate different points of view and stimulate learning and the exchange of ideas. So conflict, we always think of shying away from conflict, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Conflict um, management um, would be a, a wise way to use different points of view um, and, and have learning take place. We uh, discussed in this chapter that there is a continuum from higher to lower um, points of power for the integrator or for the team leader. And the integrator role is a key factor in an organization. And successful participants in a company's lateral uh, process make the best integrators. So when you're choosing an integrator, some companies choose the integrator based on what function it is that's going to be most affected by change. Another strategy is to rotate leaders. Um, as the, the task or the product moves through the company, moving from one function to another, those leaders can be rotated. Complexity. Sometimes we think, oh, why, making, why make things more complex than they need to be? But Galbraith discussed why would a complex team be needed? And first of all, we have to look at the task. And the task might require a cross-functional team. And then that team has several components. And so greater complexity would be necessary. If you have a large organization um, and you have a large number of people that are members of a team, sometimes that team has to be divided into a core team and then several extensions created off from that team. When an organization has multiple dimensions, of course, the team is going to be more complex. In discussing the integrator's role, um, the integrator needs a lot of data to be successful. When that integrator can see lots of different parts of the company, um, he's going to be more effective. And Galbraith describes that as cross-company visibility. And the integrator's influence um, is going to be elevated if he or she has control over a budget or over um, people in a, a certain function of the organization. And Galbraith pretty much sums it up by saying that groups and integrators are powerful methods to use in a lateral organization. And some of the benefits are they make the organization more likely to experience cross-communication, cooperation, and also quick conflict resolution. When a lateral organization is choosing integrators, it's important to remember that those integrators are full-time leaders. They need to be flexible with everyone involved in the organization, whether it be uh, customers, consumers, um, employees. 
integrators coordinate the work of others. They often don't produce, you know, work on their own. They're busy um, working with their team and, and coordinating the work of others. And integrators should possess the ability to deal with controversy. And I think it's important to remember in a positive manner. Um, so sometimes we shy away from that controversy, but an integrator can turn it into a positive learning situation.